Let's go with number three. OK, number three, um, Sadiq Khan. Not a surprise. Why not? Um, plank of the week, obviously, I've nominated him several times. Uh, the biggest disaster that London has ever seen since the plague, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's um, great. Uh, an absolute awful individual, uh, terrible at all things housing. The terrible death. At, terrible at all things. <laughs> yeah, worst uh, things to hit London. <laughs> yeah. The Great Fire, yeah. the plague, the blitz, Sadiq, Sadiq Khan. Khan, but not necessarily in no, that no, he order. Might, he, might, he might top that three up. He yeah, is he worse than the black no, he's He's, but, but what I find particularly irritating about him is he's been an absolute failure on all of those things, mm. transport, housing, crime. But when he's on the telly or interviewed in the newspapers and so on, which he obviously often is because he's uh, a bit of a kind of narcissist, uh, he talks as though he's been the most successful thing that the capital oh, yeah. has ever seen. Absolutely and incredible. I think actually rather than continuing his political career, which obviously he can't in two years' time no, because he has, he has to, to stand down right. unless he goes for Parliament, I think he should start a PR firm. I think he'll earn millions and millions of pounds. Yes. Uh, why, why polishing it? turds yeah. for other people. Well, what, why is it that uh, this mayor of London thinks climate change is part of the mayor's job? Mm. I, don't, I wouldn't have thought you. You don't yeah. vote for the mayor of a big city to sort out climate well, change. And, and he what puts, is he on about? But he puts that and yeah, you know, net zero trips to California over and above yeah. stopping yeah. people getting. And then, and then says he's going to uh, legalise yeah. cannabis in Lewisham, yeah. parts of Lewisham. He's got, got absolutely no right to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It is not within no. his purview it or his remit. Yeah. But I don't think I could spend probably more than thirty seconds in a room no. with that. I think he's a massive. These are, irritant. These are some great suggestions. How about number four? Massive irritant. Um, Mick Lynch. Yes. Mick Lynch, I mean, he scares me. Yeah. Lynch, you know, and I'm, you know, I love all I'm not, these, I'm not a I love all these champagne socialist types. You go, oh, he's well, great. He's, he's, grand a year. he's, he's so good on the television. Good. He takes. He's fantastic. He makes, he he makes mincemeat of all of these he's interviewers. Not, he's yeah. not yeah. So, much so, good on the TV. Nine, Just another ninety grand a year, which is only a little bit more than the average train driver, of course, and they're all trying to get 10, 12 percent pay rises. But this is the man also that has as his Facebook avatar apparently the hood from Thunderbirds. You remember that really scary interview from Thunderbirds? Yeah, 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 and. I mean, that still scares me now, right. 45 years on. So, yeah, Mick Lynch... Yeah, but that's um, more about you than Mick Lynch. True enough, yeah. true enough. Yeah. Uh, I don't so think I'm I think, scared of him. I'm not really scared yeah, of a puppet. Dangerous, what, nasty, Any other socialist. puppets you're frightened of? Uh, the child catcher, not a puppet. The child catcher. Well, yeah, well, that's bang, not bang. a puppet. No, yeah. that's pretty scary, though. Bill and Ben? Yeah. Bill and Ben, yeah, Flower because they men. were just on drugs. They were a bit weird. They were just on They were weird. Yeah, very weird. Steve Also, I was wondering what the gardener was doing when he wandered off. Yeah. You know, <laughs> with weed, a bit like Penny Borden, you know, <laughs> disappeared for a while. Yeah. Didn't know where they, what they were doing. Uh, final one, then. God, you are doing this quick, aren't you? Well, we are. Um, we have to. Otherwise, we're, here, we're nearly out of here. We're, 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 <laughs> Kev's yeah. told me not to waste too much time. Yeah, don't on this. waste time. Yeah, yeah, okay, right, don't yeah, waste time on this. quirk. Yeah. Uh, right. Last but not least, Katie Price. <laughs> oh, oh yes. good one. Fantastic. So, so Lock her up. Maybe she can drive them all around the <laughs> island. <laughs> well, she could, yeah, without a license. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinks, a couple yeah. of lines of coke, she'll be fine. Well, no, she's the biggest prison dodger ever, isn't she? Yeah. She's um, and talking. How does she avoid prison? I've got absolutely no idea. I think it's only fair to other prisoners that they don't lock her up. Yeah, and talking to heat, I think if she went out in the heat. Her face would melt, wouldn't it? When I mean, she's had so much yeah, pain. Yeah, I would have thought so. She looks like crap now, though. Yeah, or a really chest explode or something. Looks, looks she like hasn't kind looked of weird. great for a while. Talking about scary puppets, she looks like a Thunderbird's puppet. You'd be yeah. scared if she knocked on your door. Yeah, she, she looks like she a looks caricature of herself. Like this, you know? <laughs> yeah, she looks like a caricature of herself. Oh. So, no, another abhorrent, thick as mints individual. Um, and again, can't imagine spending any time no. with that individual whatsoever. Um, I mean, all five of them. If you were, if I was on an island with all five of them, I think I would definitely kill myself. Well, you certainly try and escape, wouldn't you? You'd literally do anything to get away. Swim waters. through shark-infested waters. Yeah, uh, as a Scottish woman, I have to agree that Andy Murray uh, has the most boring voice ever. I've never met yeah, anyone with a voice yeah, like yeah. that. Uh, would put you to sleep, says Maisie. Um, and here's another one. Uh, laughing my ass off at Loath Island nominee Andy Murray. Hilarious comments and every one of them true. A worthy choice, says... Co is that coughed? Mm. Mm, OK, yeah, well, so very popular Loath Island this week. Good, good, good. I'm sorry we had to rush through it so quickly, but Kevin's insisted, I'm afraid. So. Yeah, yeah. You're afraid yeah, your, time, out of your time's up. I want um, more of me got, on this Yeah, show. more of Kevin coming up. I've actually <laughs> discovered that Pine, he's got Pine named after him. Um, we're <laughs> going to talk about on that. social media. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called there's Kevin. No end to I mean, my imagine influence. Kevin the Pine. What is in it, dare I ask? Well, it's a vegan pie, see? because oh, he's a vegan. Because would be, well, he is a vegan. What a damn vegan! You're a pretend vegan. Well, he's practically a, a vegan. No, no, I, no, no, I'm nowhere near a vegan. I eat eggs, I eat dairy. Well, you are quite near a vegan. Your wife's a vegan. And sausage rolls, sir. Right. And sausage rolls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're vegetarian. Still, I'm still not out of trouble over that. <laughs> no, never going to be. You're oh, there's the pie. Look, there's there's a Kevin pie. Kevin there pie. Look how happy he is. Look at it. It's got quinoa in it.
More middle class quinoa. stuff from Kevin. Quinoa. Quinoa. Quinoa, as some people call it, yeah. yeah. There's got to be um, a crusty joke there somewhere, hasn't there? It has to be. But why haven't I got a pie named after me? I thought it would be more appropriate, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, but we've got, got a lookalike for me. We're going to do that coming up. Oh, yeah, well. brilliant. Um, also, Ali Ross coming up next with Talking TV. Russell, thank you very much indeed. I'll see you soon for Plank of the Week.